days ago we pulled our American brass roosters. We had two of them in here with 10 hens. We put them in a small coop where we had these Cornish roasters that we were raising up. And we've got three Cornish roaster roosters that we've been raising for six months. We've been limit feeding them to keep them at a good weight so they don't get too fat too fast. The Cornish roasters we've been raising for meat birds for a couple years now. We really like them. They're supposed to finish out two weeks later than what a Cornish cross would. So they're a little bit slower growing. We ended up taking three of those Cornish roaster roosters out of our Joel Salton style chicken tractor at four months. And we put them in a small coop where we limit fed them so they grow slower to let their bones and everything else develop. They're now six months old. Two days ago we put them in with our American breast hens to hopefully crossbreed them and come up with our own line of chickens. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> you goof. So even though we already switched the roosters out two days ago, we're still able to collect our eggs today put them in the incubator and hatch out American breast chickens. That's because it takes five to seven days after a rooster mates a hen for his sperm to end up in an egg. And on top of that, a hen can lay fertilized eggs from that rooster for up to three weeks after that. So you're looking at a month after you pull that rooster before she stops laying eggs that are linked back to him. So even though we put in these roosters now, we won't be able to hatch out our crossbred chickens until a month from now. So when trying to crossbreed and come up with your own breed, you need to have an idea of what you want to end up with. One of my main goals for this breed is for the hens to look like the American breasts and the roosters to look like the Cornish cross. I would like the chickens to keep the blue legs just because I think that would be cool. The hens, we gotta be realistic. I'm thinking maybe 200 eggs a year would be nice. So the plan is in a month, after the hens are no longer fertilized by the American breast roosters, we'll hatch out about 56 of these eggs from these Cornish roaster roosters. We'll raise those chicks out and study them very carefully. How fast they grow, what they do. My main goal in this first hatch is to come up with some good roosters that I'll end up breeding back to the American breast. Because I think we're gonna want the majority of the genetics to be American breast and not the Cornish roaster. But I'm curious to see how the hens turn out. I'll let them get to maturity, see how long it takes them to lay eggs and how many eggs they lay. Possibly breed those to an American breast rooster so those chicks would also be three quarter and maybe come up with a combination. There's a lot of different ideas here, but what it all comes down to is we have to get one of these three roosters to breed these hens. I haven't seen any breeding going on yet, but we're only at day two, so I'm excited to see what happens there. The American breast is our main focus. We're gonna be adding to the flock. We'd like to get the flock up to about 50 hens, and this spring start selling baby chicks. The whole Cornish roaster thing and crossbreeding with American breast is just a fun thing I'm doing on the side to hopefully eventually create a sustainable chicken breed. But right now we're going to go take the rest of these eggs, get them in the incubator, and get this first batch of American breast chicken started. Just remember, point it end down. And be very careful. Okay. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Is that a great idea?